think the Dutch landscape is just flat fields dotted with windmills? Or that the only thing on the menu is cheese? And let's not forget about the infamous reputation for tulips and liberal laws. But there's so much more to uncover about Dutch culture, food, and daily life. Get ready to challenge everything you thought you knew about the Netherlands. Today, we're tackling some of the biggest myths and misconceptions surrounding this unique country. Okay. So, are you ready to see the Netherlands in a whole new light? Let's get started. 21. Everyone smokes weed. The Netherlands has a well-known policy of tolerance toward cannabis. However, data suggests that cannabis use in the Netherlands is in line with other European countries and not as prevalent as the stereotype suggests. First of all, I didn't even know that the Netherlands, I didn't even know that it was legal to smoke, you know, cannabis. I was going to say the W word in Europe. I, I didn't know it was even legal, I, you know. The Dutch approach aims to separate the market for soft drugs from hard drugs and reduce the risks and nuisance of drug use. Cannabis is sold in licensed coffee shops, but public consumption is often restricted. 20. The Netherlands and Holland. Historically, Holland refers to two provinces west of the Netherlands, North Holland and South Holland, which include major cities like Amsterdam, Rotterdam and The Hague. However, the Netherlands encompasses all 12 provinces of the country. The confusion comes from the prominence of Holland in the Dutch Golden Age, leading to the name being used as a synonym for the whole country. This is, that scenery right here is so beautiful, like good lord. 19. Flat as a pancake. Yeah. While the Netherlands is famous for its flat landscapes, which are ideal for cycling and have necessitated innovative water management techniques, it does have varied geography. The province of Limburg in the southeast, for example, features rolling hills, and the value area contains forests and heathlands. 18. Okay. Dutch and German are the same language. Dutch and German are both part of the West Germanic language family, but they are distinct languages with their own grammar, vocabulary, and pronunciations. While there are similarities due to their common roots, speakers of one language cannot automatically understand the other without... Yeah, because I've even been told by Germans, uh, uh, you know, I, I was, you know, trying to translate uh, German language, and um, Germans in the comment section were like, yeah, not even us can understand that. So the translator is not going to understand that, right? Because even Germans in Germany cannot understand some Germans if they speak, you know... Crazy. Learning it. 17. Tulips. tulips are native to the Netherlands. Tulips are synonymous with the Whoa. Netherlands, especially given the country's reputation for flower cultivation and export. However, tulips are originally from Central Asia and were introduced to the Netherlands in the late 16th century. The Dutch quickly became renowned for their tulip cultivation, leading Is to the infamous tulip mania in the 17th century. Is this actually a real picture? This shit looks fake. Yo, nah, bro. The Netherlands is a different place if this is actually real. Considered one of the first recorded speculative bubbles. 16. English isn't widely spoken. The Netherlands is known for its high level of English proficiency among non-native speakers. This proficiency is reflected in the country's education system, where English is a mandatory subject. Many universities wow, offer programs in English to attract international students, contributing to the widespread use and understanding of English. 15. It's always raining. The Netherlands Isn't has a temperate maritime climate characterized by mild winters and cool summers, with precipitation evenly distributed throughout the year. While it may seem like it rains a lot, the total rainfall is comparable to that of much of Europe. The weather can be unpredictable, but there are plenty of dry and sunny days, especially in spring and summer. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's beautiful. 14. All Dutch people are tall and blonde. The Dutch are often cited as some of the tallest people in the world on average, a trait thought to be influenced by genetics and high protein diet. However, the country is ethnically diverse, especially in urban areas, due to immigration and its colonial history. This diversity means not everyone fits the stereotype of being tall and blonde. 
But I still don't think tall and blonde represents the Netherlands. You guys can let me know in the comment section down below. Tall, I understand, but blonde, mm, I don't know about that part. 13. There's no crime in the Netherlands. No the crime. Netherlands is known for its high quality of life and relatively low crime rates. However, like any country, it experiences crime, including theft, burglary, and cybercrime. The Dutch police and judicial system work actively to maintain public safety and address crime through prevention, enforcement, and rehabilitation programs. 12. Windmills are just for tourists. Windmills have been an essential part of Dutch history and landscape, serving practical purposes such as pumping water out of low-lying land and grinding grain. Today, while many windmills have been preserved as historical monuments and indeed attract tourists, their existence is deeply rooted in Dutch culture and engineering. Some still serve their original purposes alongside modern wind turbines that generate renewable energy. Right. 11. Prostitution is legal. Hey, 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 hey! You traumatized me, man. Golly, why you put that in the video? Ooh, man, that shit traumatized me. Like, damn, that's my daughter you messing with like that, boy. Anyways, um, but yeah, that was really traumatizing. The, ooh, damn. Prostitution is legalized and regulated in the Netherlands to protect sex workers and reduce crime associated with the sex industry. However, it's not legal everywhere, but confined to certain areas and under right. strict regulations. For instance, Amsterdam's red light district is the most famous area where prostitution is openly practiced. Municipalities have the authority to issue licenses to brothels and regulate the industry within their jurisdiction. 10. The Dutch are rude. This perception Ow. often stems from cultural differences. The Dutch communication style is typically direct and straightforward. This directness is a cultural norm and is not intended to be rude, but rather to promote clear communication and honesty. In mm. business and personal interactions, this Love means it. that Dutch people tend to get straight to the point. 9. The Netherlands is only good for party tourism. While cities like Amsterdam are famous for their nightlife and liberal policies on cannabis, the Netherlands offers much more. The country is rich in art, history and culture with numerous museums, historical sites, and architectural marvels. It also boasts beautiful natural landscapes, from the tulip fields in spring, to the beaches along the North Sea coast and the national parks. 8. Cheese is the only Dutch food worth trying. Dutch cuisine may not be as globally renowned as some other countries, but it has its unique dishes and flavors. Traditional Dutch foods such as stampot, a dish made of mashed potatoes mixed with vegetables, herring, raw herring, and snert, pea soup, are worth trying. Dutch pastries and sweets like stroop waffles, syrup waffles, and poffertjes, mini pancakes, are also delicious. Okay. 7. The country is liberal in every aspect. The Netherlands is known for its progressive policies on issues like drugs, same-sex marriage, and euthanasia. However, like any society, there's a spectrum of political and social opinions among its population. The country has both liberal and conservative political parties, and recent years have seen debates on immigration, integration, and national identity reflecting a range of viewpoints. 6. Bicycles Have the right of way. Everywhere. While the Netherlands is incredibly bike-friendly, with extensive cycling paths. You know what's ironic? This video, I've been listening and I thought, you know, when you listen to this video, you, you're you not able to tell that it's uh, automated, like it's an AI, but the um, the way how it is speaking, like when I'm talking, right, if I have a long pause, you can still kind of realize that it's not AI because where my pauses are gonna be are what you'd say, very interestingly placed, you know, it, it, it makes sense to have a pause there, but the pause that you're hearing in this video clearly gives it away that it's AI, like, listen to this. Six, bicycles. Bicycles. Have the right of way. Have the right of way. Everywhere. 
everywhere. While the Netherlands... <laughs> no one is going to say that. They would just say bicycles have the right of way everywhere. They would just say that. So you can tell that this is AI. But the craziest thing is I'm an IT guy and I can tell you that that could have been easily fixed. But they didn't fix it. It's incredibly bike friendly with extensive cycling paths and laws that often favor cyclists. There are rules that cyclists and motorists must follow. Cyclists are encouraged to follow traffic signals and signs. And while they do have the right of way in many situations, this is not universal. Five, the Netherlands has no cultural diversity. Ah. The Netherlands has a rich history of immigration contributing to a diverse cultural landscape. Major cities like Amsterdam, Rotterdam, and The Hague feature a mix of cultures from around the world reflected in the country's food, festivals, and everyday life. Exactly. The Dutch colonial history also contributes to this diversity. Four, Dutch art is only about Van Gogh and Rembrandt. The Dutch Golden Age in the 17th century was a period of great wealth and cultural achievement, producing famous artists like Vermeer and Frans Hals, in addition to Rembrandt. The Netherlands has also made significant contributions to modern and contemporary art, with figures like Piet Mondrian and movements like De Stijl. 3. It's illegal to drink in public. Public drinking really? laws vary across the Netherlands, with some cities having designated areas where consuming alcohol in public is allowed while others may impose fines for public drinking outside these zones. Wow. These regulations are often in place to prevent nuisance. I did not know that. I thought it was like Germany. Two, everyone lives below sea level. A significant portion of the Netherlands is below sea level, necessitating innovative water management techniques, including the famous Dutch dikes, pumps, and canals. However, not everyone lives below sea level. There are areas, particularly in the eastern and southern parts of the country, that are above sea level. 1. It's a giant tourist trap. While certain areas, particularly in central Amsterdam, can be very touristy and crowded, the Netherlands is much more than that. Many places offer authentic Dutch experiences without the crowds, from smaller towns and villages to the countryside's natural beauty. It's clear that the Netherlands has much more to offer than what meets the eye. If you've enjoyed debunking these misconceptions... Nah, Netherlands got a lot to offer and um, it was a pretty solid video. I, I genuinely think I could uh, live in the Netherlands and it's actually a place that I want to visit. I haven't visited as yet. The only other country in Europe outside of Finland that I've been to is Germany. And the reason I've actually been to Germany is because I had to go to the German airport to get to Finland. Um, outside of that, I wouldn't have actually went to Germany at all, but I, it's quite unfortunate because I've never actually went into Germany, like outside of the airport, you know, kind of sucks, you know, I had to get right back on a flight immediately to get the heck, you know, into Finland, because if I didn't, I would have missed my flight, you know, so yeah, couldn't go inside of Germany, but yeah, um, it's a journey, man. I can't wait to visit some other European countries. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to be starting with Sweden since it's literally right there. I can literally drive to Sweden right now in less than two hours of driving. So I don't know. Maybe Sweden. I don't know. Maybe it's not two hours, but around three hours worth of driving and I would be in Sweden. But yeah, I've literally been like this close to Sweden, like where there's literally a lake and you swim across the lake, boat across the lake. And you're in Sweden. Like, I've literally been that close to Sweden where I can see Sweden, but I can't touch it, you know? So, yeah, tough. But, uh, yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if these are indeed true. And uh, thank you for watching. I'm out of here. Peace.